guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 6 of season 4 of My Hero Academia, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my god, Jesus, it took forever. Amen. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I mean, it's just the start. We're still essentially at the start of this argument. We still got a long way to go. And I'm just like, ugh. We're getting there. It's only a bit early. I'm just not ready for it. <laughs> I'm not ready. Oh, my heart. Like, honestly, I just, as much as I love this arc so much, I want to skip it so bad because I'm not ready. I thought I was ready last week after Kirishima and everything, but nope. <laughs> oh, God. God, it's so weird to see them all here. Oh my God. <laughs>
It's okay. You know it was bound to happen no matter what. hated about him. Oh my god. And they're useful too. I mean, my god. <laughs> I know. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. well, of course, I mean, you think he's going to automatically tell you everything? No. You would assume he would have done, like, you know, typically in some spy movies where there is a traitor and they always have, like, that poison or whatever but like if they just crunch on their mouth and they just immediately die I honestly thought that was gonna happen to him Because he's the one that got it from me.
Oh, that's so fucking beautiful. My God, I don't know why, but I'm getting death note feels. This is the one reason why I can't stand him sometimes. I mean, yes, he's right, but he doesn't have to be an ass about it. Don't make me cry again, please. I'm not gonna cry. No, <laughs> no I'm already tearing up. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is my baby. Mm -hmm. I just want to hug her and just know like it's okay. Oh my god. My love hate relations with him. Excuse me. Okay, seems easy. Yeah. Because if he feel, who knows what they could do to her.
just trust them, please. Oh, I'm stressed and I don't like this. I know. It's only that day you took her. But you would have got hurt. Because in a way, it's too dangerous. None of you need to get hurt. This is our headed. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm not okay. <laughs> I just, I can't. Oh, God, this episode was so good. Everything about it just, uh, it just reminds me of how, oh, you know what? No, I ain't going to say it like that. And I'm going to say it like this. In my opinion, I think a lot of people will probably agree with me on this. Sir Nide is one of the most important characters in this arc. There's reasons why I, in a way, like, they do talk about it. He talks about it crooked stuff but there's more things to the story that I can't really talk about but like I, I just say he is one of the most important characters in this arc out of all the new characters because everyone is equally as important in this arc but him he's so good in this arc and it's just like everything I have oh god I'm crying and I don't want to do it my god seeing both Mario and Deku like just upset like makes me upset even showing any time with freaking overhauls like beak mask and like chomping her like that like I got chills the freaking art was amazing in this like honestly the way it looks like uh, Chiaki because they call him Chiaki for short sometimes 
um, overhaul literally looked like a Shimigami. And then freaking Eddie Chan, like, my daughter, like, I love her so freaking much. And there have been times, oh, God, just. <laughs> because she doesn't want toys. She wants to get out of here. Well, there are kids who like toys, so you did something right, but you can tell she don't want no damn toys. I don't even know who voices her, and she does her good. Okay, as I said, like, she doesn't want toys. She wants to get the hell out of there. I mean, there were times, especially when I was reading this arc, wondering that if both Mara and Deku rescued her when she first, when they first saw her, how it would have, like, possibly planned it out. There have been times where I've sat and wondered, like, would Overhaul, like, immediately killed both of them and took them, and took it Eddie back on his own stuff. <laughs> But, I mean, it just, you know, it didn't happen. And, I mean, yes, it, like, still, even today, it hurt me, like, just not knowing and that they could have got her. And the fact is that, yes, they blame themselves. It is their fault. They should have did better. I get that because there have been times whether we've done something and we wish we could go back in time and immediately change it. But you don't know what could have happened. That day when you took, if, if you took her, if you got out alive and shit like that, but uh, I'm just, I, I can't, everything just fucking hurts. I just want them to save my daughter. I love her so freaking much. What's wrong? All right, I'm going to continue. I, I just love her so freaking much and I just want her to be safe. That's all I really want for her. She's the most adorable character and you have to love her. I mean, like, even when she cries and she's upset, you just want to hold her and you just feel like, it's okay, everything's going to be fine. But, uh, my heart. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 6 of season 4 of My Hero Academia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 7. Bye, guys. Thank you.